I've been secondhand shopping at thrift stores, garage and estate sales all of my life. You just never know what you'll find or who you'll meet along the way. There are some incredible pieces out there just waiting to be found. I see beauty in otherwise discarded items of the past and believe you don't have to spend a lot of money to create your own beautifully unique space. I'm Selena and welcome to my channel, The Vintage Bombshell. Hey there, I'm at Goodwill. I'm trying to go thrift store shopping and I pull up to the stoplight and I look over and there's a spider <laughs> crawling on the seat next to me. I was like, oh, uh, uh. so what I do, I grab the only weapon I had in the car, my lip gloss before he could get me. I'm kind of excited. So let's bop in there and see what we can find today. Have you noticed all of the 80s trends are starting to come back around? And I absolutely love it because I'm a fan of giant statement jewelry. And this morning there were some really cool earrings in here. I totally would have brought home this beautiful dress, but it wasn't my size. Look at that cute ruffle on the bottom and the color would be really pretty for fall. For some reason, this particular Goodwill was absolutely loaded with things that still had the store tags on them. So I don't know if some lucky lady cleaned out her closet, but if you're doing any kind of back to school shopping right now or changing out your wardrobe for fall, this is the perfect time to go look at the thrift store. How cute is this dress? It kind of reminded me of like a 1960s uh, wiggle dress type of style. I thought it was adorable and it's definitely a vintage one, but I didn't feel like the print was totally me, but it is cute. Okay, my mom is not with me today, but I can completely feel her behind my back telling me, Selena, you do not need that vase. Put that down, <laughs> but isn't it pretty? Look at all that beautiful gold, uh, like filigree work on there. It's all hand painted. These are gorgeous too. Oh, I love a glamorous candlestick. Oh boy, did you see what I see? <laughs> that is a gorgeous botanical vase and it's a really good size too. I love the soft, a pastel color palette in this one. Look at the little butterfly, that's gorgeous. All right, I love to wander the aisles of anthropology from time to time and also get inspired from my interior design magazines. And I've noticed a lot of them are incorporating more uh, botanical type dishes mixed with plain dishes like in a table setting. And Goodwill is a great spot for you to kind of look for seasonal pieces to add in with your regular staples because it's completely loaded with all kinds of cute styles and colors. Check this out. Oh boy, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I need these. These are amazing. Did you see how the gold just like flashed and picked up even from the bottom of the dish aisle there? Oh, put it in the cart, put it in the cart. Oh boy, oh gosh, yes, there are two of them. These are too beautiful. It looks like they're real gold too. The hand painted roses are absolutely stunning. I feel like I need to look around on the aisles and see if there are any more. Ooh. Okay, these are pretty. Look at that kind of slate blue mixed with the rose pattern. I thought it was really beautiful. And they've got five bowls here. But wouldn't those be cute for fruit or like a little dessert or something? I don't need them, but I had to show them to you. They're so gorgeous. Ooh, remember, isn't this called um, Desert Rose or Franciscan Wear? I can't remember this. We used to have it at the antique mall and I'd see it a lot. It's really pretty. Oh, and here's a little saucer, but it's missing the cup. I've got my eye on that beauty though. This is really unique. I like that the cup is the same exact print as the saucer and it looks like a nice, ooh, bone china. It's English, must be fancy. I kind of feel like I need this. Like wouldn't that be so pretty this fall just to have your cup of coffee in this gorgeous cup like this. It would make it feel extra fancy. You know, I think I'm gonna do it. I think it's coming home. calling all grand millennials. <laughs> There's this trend going around now that I keep seeing on Instagram and it's called a grand millennial. And it's basically um, the younger millennial generation that loves all of the things that I do, <laughs> like tapestries and Victorian things and fancy gilded things, Baroque, Italian Florentine, crystal things and all the fancy stuff. And this is definitely a grand millennial piece. So if you're into that trend, Ooh, you can snap it up at the thrift store. Look at that, 
There's some really cool original art here. I feel like this is a piece that my dad would like. The fabric aisle is absolutely loaded today. So if you like to do any kind of small upholstery work, using these type of curtains, especially the brocade, the thicker kind, are wonderful. If you're gonna be reupholstering a chair seat or maybe a little footstool, it's much, much less expensive than going to a fabric store and buying you know, fabric by the yard because there are some really cool prints in here. And most of these, since they're curtains, are double lined. I always have to scope the pillows and look at this one. Oh, I have a little collection of these at home. I don't need any more. <laughs> I think they're from like the 50s or 60s and they're called a pin tuck cushion. And it's really cool. If you look on YouTube, you can see how these are made, but that one was just adorable. I'm gonna leave it for someone else though. But this throw, Okay, my mom is gonna love this. You know, you saw that last episode of us when we made over her living room and really enhanced that tropical vibe that my mom loves. And she's been keeping her eye out for some little throws that she can change out occasionally just to change the look of her living room and also protect her couch from Sherman's little puppy dog claws. And I feel like my mom's really gonna like this one. It's kind of a nice soft velvet with a chenille over the top. And for $7.99, you can't beat it. All right, mama, this one's coming home for you. I don't need any more curtains, but look at these, look at the tassels, the brocade. Can you imagine how expensive these were? Like what? What just happened? This never happens when I go to Goodwill. I'll find like one or two things, you know, here and there, but I never come home with two bags and a handful. Oh, this is like the best thrift shopping day ever oh my gosh okay it first of all started off so lovely i like like barely stepped foot inside of goodwill and i heard vintage bombshell <laughs> so hi again chris it was so awesome to meet you i love 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 meeting my local subscribers so if you see my mom and i are out like shopping at, at costco at goodwill and other thrift stores just come and say hi i just absolutely love it that made my day uh, so we're gonna jump into my thrift haul now oh my gosh i am so thoughtful by the way <laughs> i found things for my mom and for Pete in that thrift store. This blanket, I feel like my mom's going to love. Is it this like totally my mom's style? Look at this. It has like big palm trees on it and stuff and like jungly leaves and the little fringe looks really cute, I thought, cause she could fold it and the way it would look um, when it's folded on the couch, like you could have it done so the trim shows like this and it was only $7.99. It looks like new still too. By the way, Summertime is the most excellent time to be looking at winter clothing options. And since I got there this morning, they had like five carts of brand new clothing out too. Um, I didn't film so much of like thumbing through clothing because I think that's kind of boring to watch sometimes. So um, I just wanted to show you what I got. Uh, but this I thought Pete would really like for the winter months. It's like part sweater and part jacket. I thought it was neat because it's like a tweed, but then it's got a little bit of puff action on it. And then the inside has this really soft kind of, um, oh, Toby's big butt just hit the table, sorry. Oh, and this is, you're gonna think this is so ugly, but um, I love these kind of bras. And uh, since I've gone through my mastectomy and reconstruction, like I, I can't wear um, bras with underwire in them. Um, I love these kind of bras and I get them normally at Target, but this was brand new, it was Lucky Brand. And I got it for $6.99 at Goodwill. They're like these, um, they're almost like a little crop top camisole thing. Practical. This is the ugliest thing. I. <laughs> I was bent down on the end cap of Goodwill because you know how they put like um, like all the new stuff coming out is kind of on the end caps and it's all, well ours is it's like color coordinated and some of the cuter things are over there. And so I was bent down on the bottom shelf and I was 
like yarding out this ugly thing <laughs> and this guy like I felt this guy watching me he was just standing there like watching me pull this ugly thing out and I know he was probably thinking like why is she getting that <laughs> but I promise you it's gonna be cool I got this really horrible plant which I should probably keep because you know how bad I am about taking care of uh house plants <laughs> maybe I should keep this one <laughs> <laughs> but I was gonna dig it out of there. Someone like hot glued it with some styrofoam, but look how beautiful the pot is. This is why I got it. How much was it? It was $4.99. I think it was half off. I think blue today was blue day. So it was like, it was $2.50. But look how pretty this is. I love these old Chinese uh, pots like this are so beautiful. It has like kind of a botanical chinoiserie type look. And you know I love that stuff. So I am going to save this one because I might be putting this like up on our balcony. Our outdoor rug has these really pretty kind of sagey greens in it and stuff. And it's so pretty. So I think we should dig this out together like on the patio. <laughs> Get this out of there. These are so pretty. I asked at the register if by chance they had more of them in the back like if they were sorting these dishes i got them in hopes that maybe next time i stop into the thrift store they might have the rest of the dishes there but these were so beautiful i only got two of them the only two they had but they're unmarked and they have like what looks to be to me like a gold plating on i think it might be like a real gold plating but look how beautiful those roses are so pretty i think they're yeah they're painted on here yeah they have like a raised kind of feeling to them but i just thought they were really beautiful and oh hold on hold that hold that thought i'm gonna be right back my love of my cabbage plates and stuff look how cute this is gonna be Ugh, <laughs> i can't handle it i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you my my little tea caddy in there but um i think i'm gonna gift one of my teacups they're like little baby. I'm looking over there. They're like little babies though. Like which one am I gonna part with? And then keep this one because it was like, I really liked this because the print was adorable, but I like the fact that the teacup is deeper and you could actually have like a cup of coffee in here if you wanted to. A lot of the um, teacups I have on the shelf, whoop, they're very short like this. And I always feel like you're like, Ooh, like you don't want to spill it, you know, because they're so shallow. But I liked that this was a taller one, you know, I could have like a normal cup of coffee in and stuff. It's so pretty. I was only drinking my coffee out of teacups and I was like, oh my gosh, it just tastes better. It tastes better in a fancy cup. All right, you were probably gonna wonder why I got this thing, because it's kind of like bohemian style, but it is also very much cottage style and that that cottage core aesthetic, you know, that's going around right now. And I love that. Uh, but really what I was looking for was something that I can carry stuff out to the patio with. Whenever Pete and I have dinner or snacks and stuff, I feel like I'm always fumbling holding the napkins and the utensils and our like dipping sauces and stuff. And I thought that this would be really nice to kind of put them all in a little caddy like this and I can easily carry it out. And then in like the winter months, I could even do maybe a little floral arrangement or a roll, I don't know, bath towels, hand towels and stuff in here. And it was only $3.99. And I really like the whitewash on it. Check that out. Um, I thought this was really pretty. I loved the bust line on it. I'm going to try this on for you later, but I love how it's kind of like a, I guess that a sweetheart neckline a little bit, but it's got a thicker um, strap here up front like that with the little buttons. I just thought that was so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love this dress. It's like a, um, like a really soft kind of stretch lace. It's super comfortable. And I love the little button detailing on it. Looks like very, very vintage, little sweetheart neckline. It's really cute. I've been living in uh, dresses this summer because it's like, it's been so hot and humid here in the Oregon Valley that you kind of just want to throw on one thing and, and not think about it. You know, it's like one and done. And also it's probably a good idea to throw on some giant ridiculous earrings. <laughs> Those never hurt. So I picked one teacup to part with over here. Uh, I don't remember if I told you about this really neat tea caddy, but my mom and I went to a garage sale years ago and this thing was absolutely 
filthy. Like we had to take car brush and car wash and get some you know, our scrubbing muscles going to clean this thing. Uh, but she got it for $5 and I think it's from the 1940s. Uh, but it works so beautiful for all of my like loose leaf teas up here and little vintage teacups and stuff. I just love having them on display here in the kitchen. And this little tea set is so adorable. Uh, thrift stores always have a ton of really, really cute teacups. That seems like they're always in full supply, but I've never seen any that have like this kind of print before. I just thought it was really cute because the, the um, cup and the saucer are exactly the same pattern. Just something kind of fun and different that it, they, this one just looks a lot different than uh, the other ones that I have. So let's add a little variety on this shelf. All right. I love it. That's super cute. Okay, let's go outside and see if I can pry that hideous plant out of the planter. Oh my gosh, this thing is so gross. Like, no wonder that guy was looking at me like, what is she thinking? <laughs> This has been shedding like in the living room of who knows what. So I'm going to sit outside here on the patio and kind of get after this thing. It looks like somebody took like a hot glue gun and styrofoam. So I'm hoping that it won't be that difficult to remove. So tools for this DIY include a butter knife, um, safety eyewear. <laughs> and don't tell my husband that I'm doing this at home. All right, I'm just going to loosen it like around the rim. I think that's the only thing holding it on here is this like hot glue. Yeah, just pick it off. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. Heck yeah. I did it. <laughs> what a cute pot. And yeah, it was a uh, blue day that day. So I got it for only $2.50. <laughs> Disaster. All right, I got this beauty all planted. I put one of these Dusty Miller plants in here. And this is one of my favorites from my garden because it has really gorgeous silvery leaves. And I love the contrast next to my roses. But how beautiful is this flower pot? You know, that's the thing about thrifting. Sometimes you have to look beyond what's right in front of you to see the beauty, you know, hidden underneath those ugly fake plants. <laughs> But I, I can't believe this is only $2.50. So I hope you had fun thrift shopping with me today. And please let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing that you found this summer is. And I'll see you in the next video.